Yo, hoop fans, your sideline sage, Tips and Upstreams, is lacing up once again. On deck, deep dives into the freshest NBA clashes, ready to set the planks ablaze. But before we jump the ball, be sure to hammer that subscribe on our YouTube channel to keep hooked with our sharp forecasts and prime selections. All right, let's bounce into today's NBA crystal ball reads. The first prediction for today is for the game between Oklahoma City Thunder and Philadelphia 76ers. In a highly anticipated showdown at the Wells Fargo Center, the Oklahoma City Thunder and the Philadelphia 76ers are set to deliver a basketball feast teeming with skill and tactical prowess. The Thunder, riding high with a 52-22 record and coming off a thrilling victory over the Knicks, showcasing their offensive might, led by the electrifying shy Gilgus Alexander and the racing sensation Jalen Williams. With an average of 120.4 points per game and a sharp 50% shooting from the field, they have cemented themselves as a powerhouse, their three-point precision standing at an impressive 39.1%. On the flip side, the 76ers, holding a 40-35 record, demonstrated their strength with a commanding win against the Raptors. Their attack, while not as dynamic as the Thunder's, operates with high efficiency, driven by Tyrese Maxey and backed by Tobias Harris and the dynamic Kelly Obriger, who recently put up 32 points. Their defense is formidable, limiting opponents to 112.2 points per game and effectively curtailing three-point attempts. A key advantage for the Thunder is their rebounding, holding a marginal superiority in both offensive and defensive boards. This aspect could be crucial, as second-chance points and paint domination will likely play a pivotal role. Nevertheless, the anticipated comeback of Joel Embiid for the 76ers could significantly alter the game's balance. Embiid's dominance in the paint and scoring prowess could give Philadelphia the necessary uplift to challenge Oklahoma City's potent offense. Historically, underdogs have had a knack for covering the spread in matchups at the Wells Fargo Center, suggesting a tightly knit competition. With the Thunder favored to win by six points and a total points line set at 226, the betting scene is intriguing. Considering the Thunder's scoring efficiency, their track record of covering spreads in away games, and their performance in recent encounters, they appear to be the more reliable wager. However, the 76ers' resilience, Embiid's potential return, and their ability to cover spreads and home clashes against formidable foes indicate a possible upset. The home advantage and the emotional lift from Embiid's comeback could sway the outcome in their favor, especially against a Thunder squad that is playoff-bound but may lack immediate urgency. Factoring in the Thunder's offensive dominance and the 76ers' tactical depth and anticipated lineup boost, this match is shaping up to be a nail-biter. However, with Philadelphia more desperate for a win to improve their playoff seeding and likely energized by their MVP contender's return, they have the momentum and motivation edge. In summary, anticipate a high-octane game with both teams pushing the tempo, but Philadelphia's home court advantage and the emotional surge from potentially having him beat back should be the game changer. Expect the total points to surpass the set threshold. Given the offensive prowess of both squads and the stakes of this playoff race clash, my bet is on the Philadelphia 76ers to cover. The next prediction for today is for the game between Los Angeles Lakers and Toronto Raptors. In the bustling heart of Toronto's Scotiabank Arena, an electrifying NBA clash is set to take place. The Los Angeles Lakers, buoyed by a strong season performance of 42 wins against 33 losses, are ready to go head-to-head -head with the Toronto Raptors, a team facing challenges this season with a 23-51 record. This game is shaping up to be a dramatic showdown between the high-flying Lakers, fueled by recent triumphs and eyeing playoff glory, and a Raptors squad in a tough spot, reeling from a 13-game losing streak. The Lakers, coming off an impressive win over the Nets, demonstrated their scoring prowess with an outstanding 54.5% shooting from the field and 37.5% from three-point range. LeBron James has been unstoppable, averaging 25.4 points and 7.3 rebounds, driving the Lakers' playoff push. Anthony Davis, with his knack for double-doubles alongside James, makes the Lakers' front line a nightmare for opponents. Their skill in moving the ball, ranking sixth in assists league-wide, highlights their offensive depth. On the flip side, the Raptors have been struggling, notably in their recent game against the 76ers, where they allowed 59.0% shooting by their opponents, despite shooting 52.2% themselves. Defensive issues have plagued their season, 
but the potential comeback of R.J. Barrett and Emmanuel Quickly might spark some life into their play, especially with Barrett's scoring ability since joining the team. Looking at recent matchups in Toronto, the Lakers emerge as the clear favorites, winning six of their last seven encounters. Their ability to step up in crucial moments, particularly in away games against teams with losing records, signals their readiness for the playoffs. The Raptors, despite the home court advantage, have a mountain to climb. Their record against Pacific Division teams at Scotiabank Arena has been disappointing, and their recent inability to perform against the spread in home games doesn't help. Considering the Lakers' superior shooting, rebounding, and defensive stats, they're expected to not only win, but also cover the 12-point spread. The Lakers' balanced offense and robust defense have been instrumental in their wins, factors that will likely decide this game. The Raptors, hampered by defensive issues and injuries, seem ill-prepared to handle the Lakers' offensive firepower. In summary, the Lakers are set to exploit the Raptors' defensive shortcomings and extend their winning streak. Their efficiency and momentum, contrasted with the Raptors' home struggles, point towards a decisive Lakers victory that covers the spread. Given the current state of both teams, the Lakers are looking to assert their dominance, bolstering their playoff position, while the Raptors strive to find their footing. The next prediction for today is for the game between Milwaukee Bucks and Washington Wizards. In tonight's riveting NBA clash at the Capital One Arena, the Milwaukee Bucks, boasting a record of 47-27, gear up to challenge the Washington Wizards. Riding high with an electrifying offense that averages 120.4 points per game, the Bucks, led by the unstoppable Giannis Antetokounmpo and a stacked roster, are a force to reckon with. Despite their offensive prowess and a stellar field goal percentage of 49.1%, their defensive game shows cracks, allowing 116.8 points on average. On the flip side, the Wizards, with a tough season record of 1461, have proved their no pushovers, especially on their turf. Scoring an average of 113.3 points per game with a shooting efficiency of 46.9%, they've had flashes of excellence propelled by the likes of Jordan Poole and the pre-injury Kyle Kuzma. Yet, their defense remains a weak link, giving up 123 points per game on average. The Bucks' recent win against the Hawks highlighted their offensive adept, despite missing Damian Lillard. However, their defensive shortcomings present an opportunity for the Wizards, who, despite their struggles, show grit at home. The absence of key player Kuzma introduces a wildcard element to their play. Historically, at the Capital One Arena, the Wizards have managed to punch above their weight, challenging even the strongest teams. The Bucks, despite their dominance, occasionally falter against lower-ranked teams on the road. With this being the Bucks' third consecutive away game, fatigue and strategic player rotation could impact their usual dominance, making room for a closer contest than expected. The Bucks hold the upper hand in shooting efficiency and rebounding, but the Wizards' home advantage and the Bucks' possible fatigue could close the gap. Milwaukee's shaky defense against three-pointers, allowing a 35.8% success rate, could offer the Wizards a chance to keep the game competitive. The odds, with Milwaukee as a 14-point favorite, underscore the gap between the teams. Nevertheless, the circumstances of Milwaukee's current road stretch and the Wizards' knack for upping their game at home hint at a scenario where Washington might defy the odds. The Bucks' strategic game management with an eye on the postseason may lead to a less assertive performance. In summary, while the Bucks are favored to win, the game's dynamics, Milwaukee's road weariness, Washington's leverage at home, and the Bucks' tactical gameplay indicate the Wizards have a good shot at beating the 14-point spread. This matchup is poised to be tighter than expected, with the Wizards maximizing their strengths and the Bucks conserving energy for future battles. I'm banking on the Washington Wizards to surpass the 14-point spread, leveraging their home advantage and the Bucks' calculated approach to their lineup and stamina. The next prediction for today is for the game between New York Knicks and Miami Heat. Tonight, at the Kaseya Center, an electrifying encounter is on the cards as the New York Knicks take on the Miami Heat. It's a clash that promises to keep Hoops fans glued to their seats with the Knicks powered by a strong 44-30 record up against the formidable 41-33 Heat. But this game is more than a numbers game. It's a strategic face-off where every move, 
from slick dribbles to precision shots and staunch defense, could shift the balance. Looking at their recent form, the Knicks have shown tenacity and a sharp offensive edge, even in a cliffhanger against the Thunder, with 41.3% field goal shooting and a 36.5% success rate from downtown this season. Meanwhile, the Heat displayed their dominance in a victory over the Wizards, sinking 49.4% of their shots and proving their prowess from beyond the arc with a 37% average. Both teams can rack up points, but it's their defensive plays and ball handling that will be under the microscope. Home court advantage has historically been a game changer in this rivalry, with the home side winning the last seven matchups, a stat that bodes well for the Heat, who are known for their defensive strength, ranked fourth in the NBA for points allowed. But the Knicks have a knack for bouncing back, especially against Eastern Conference rivals, clinching their last six games after a defeat. Jalen Brunson has been a revelation for the Knicks, averaging 27.9 points per game and becoming a linchpin in their offense. The Heat counter with a versatile offense, led by Terry Rozier and Bam Adebayo, making them a dual threat on the court. Injuries, stamina, and current form will be critical factors. The Knicks have shown vulnerability with recent defeats, while the Heat's resilience and depth are evident in their ability to secure back-to-back -back wins. In the rebounding department, the Knicks average of 45.8 boards. A game could give them an edge over the Heat's 42.1. However, Miami's superior shooting accuracy and free throw percentage, 81.3%, might level the playing field in a nail-biter. The showdown in Miami has traditionally favored the home team, a trend that could continue given the Heat's form and tactical depth. Yet, the Knicks' determination and their track record of covering spreads against Eastern Conference rivals on the road are formidable. After thorough analysis and considering historical data and recent performances, the Knicks are predicted to cover the 2.5-point spread thanks to their rebounding prowess and Brunson's scoring streak. However, anticipate a defensive showcase from the Heat, with total points expected to fall below 208. In summary, while the Heat have the defensive edge and home court advantage, the Knicks' recent performance, road spread covering ability, and offensive dynamism spearheaded by Brunson hint at not just covering the spread, but possibly clinching a win in this close-fought contest. It's a game where every possession is crucial, and the margin for error is slim. My bet is on the New York Knicks to cover the 2.5 point. The next prediction for today is for the game between Houston Rockets and Minnesota Timberwolves. As the Houston Rockets and Minnesota Timberwolves prep for a crucial showdown at the Target Center, the stage is set for a high-stakes duel teeming with playoff drama. The Timberwolves, boasting a record of 51-23 and clinching the Western Conference's third seed, are eager to bounce back from their recent hiccup against the Chicago Bulls, a game where, despite Anthony Edwards dropping 22 points, they couldn't clinch the win ending at 109-101. The Rockets, in a spirited battle for a spot in the play-in tournament, flaunt a bolstered record of 38-36, thanks to Jabari Smith Jr.'s dazzling performances highlighted by a 28-point spectacle in their last game against the Dallas Mavericks. On the stat sheet, the Rockets have been lighting it up offensively, racking up 114.2 points per game, with a field goal percentage of 46%. Their defense, however, paints a less rosy picture, giving up 112.6 points per game and highlighting their defensive woes. On the flip side, the Timberwolves have established themselves as defensive stalwarts, leading the league by only allowing 106.2 points per game and holding their opponents to a league-best 44.8% shooting. Recent matchups have seen the Timberwolves dominate, especially on their turf, showcasing the pivotal role of home court advantage. With their offensive efficiency and defensive tenacity, particularly in stifling opponents' three-point shots to just 35.2%, the Timberwolves stand as daunting hosts. Yet the Rockets' recent surge, boasting a 13-2 record in their last 15 games, signals their capacity to defy the odds. With Houston's offensive dynamism and Minnesota's defensive rigor, the outcome hinges on which team can better assert its style of play. Injury updates and squad rotations will play critical roles, with the Timberwolves missing Carl Anthony Towns and the Rockets aiming to keep up their momentum amidst a demanding schedule. The Rockets facing a back-to-back -back game and the Timberwolves' recent stumble against the Bulls injects an element of unpredictability, 
with the Rockets eyeing a play-in berth and their strong showing against top teams, and considering the Timberwolves' formidable home defense, this clash is razor thin. However, the Timberwolves' defensive mastery at home, combined with the Rockets' past struggles against them, nudges the prediction towards the hosts. Victory hingis on dominating the paint, sharpshooting from beyond the arc, and capitalizing on turnovers, areas where the Timberwolves have excelled. Yet, the Rockets' form and the high stakes could see them beat the odds, particularly with their knack for keeping games tight. Summing up, while the Timberwolves are favored to win at home, the Rockets fight for a playoff spot, and their resilience makes them a solid bet to overcome the 8.5-point line. Anticipate a nail-biter, with defense and bench depth playing key roles. My money's on the Rockets to beat the spread in a possession-by-possession thriller. The next prediction for today is for the game between San Antonio Spurs and Denver Nuggets. In the electrifying energy of Ball Arena, the stage is set for the Denver Nuggets to welcome the San Antonio Spurs in a showdown that's got the NBA world and betting circles buzzing with anticipation. Fresh from a close battle with the Warriors, ending in a 117-113 defeat, the Spurs put forth a valiant effort, showcasing their grit despite the season's hurdles. Their shooting was on point, hitting 44.9% from the field and an impressive 39.5% from downtown. Victor Wembanyama, the star of the Spurs, lit up the scoreboard with a dazzling 32 points, reinforcing his critical presence on the floor. Conversely, the Denver Nuggets, boasting a robust 52-23 record, crushed the Cavaliers 130-101, reaffirming their dominance in the league. Their offensive prowess was in full swing with a jaw-dropping 57.5% field goal success and an even more remarkable 63.6% accuracy from the three-point range. Nikola Jokic, the Nuggets' key player, notched a double-double with 26 points and 18 rebounds, proving once again why he's pivotal to Denver's triumphs. A closer look at both teams' recent performances and their face-offs in Denver reveals a stark contrast in fortunes. The Nuggets' sharpshooting, highlighted by a 49.5% shooting efficiency and their rebounding mastery, gives them a clear advantage, especially against the Spurs' struggling defense, which has been conceding an average of 119.2 points per game at a 49.1% shooting rate by adversaries. Injuries are a significant factor, too, with the Spurs missing crucial members like Keldon Johnson, Devin Vassell, and Jeremy Soshin. Their absence might hinder San Antonio's chances against Denver's high-octane offense. Although the Nuggets will miss Jamal Murray, their squad depth and Jokic's influence should soften the blow. The Spurs have demonstrated tenacity, beating the odds in seven of their last ten games. This resilience, combined with the Nuggets' occasional hiccups as favorites, indicates that while a Denver victory is probable, the game might be tighter than the odds predict. The Nuggets' superiority in shooting precision and rebounding, paired with their home turf, suggests they'll clinch the win. However, the Spurs' recent tenaciousness and fighting spirit suggest a game more contested than many foresee. Considering the Spurs' knack for surpassing expectations and the Nuggets' minor falter without Murray, this match is shaping up to be a gripping encounter. Despite Denver's aim to cement their lead in the West and their overall effectiveness, they're expected to prevail. Yet, given the dynamics, the Spurs are poised to beat the spread, signaling a more competitive game than the 16-point differential forecasts. In essence, while the consensus leans towards a Nuggets victory, the resilient Spurs, powered by Wimbanyama's ascendancy, could throw a curveball in this intriguing matchup. It's puzzling why the Nuggets are heavily favored. The Spurs have the potential to cause an upset here. With both teams' offensive strengths and recent showings hinting at a high-scoring game, betting on the Spurs to beat the 16-point spread seems like a savvy move. I'm all in on the San Antonio Spurs to outperform expectations. The next prediction for today is for the game between Cleveland Cavaliers and Utah Jazz. In the upcoming hardwood clash at the Delta Center, the Cleveland Cavaliers are gearing up to face off against the Utah Jazz, setting the stage for an electrifying showdown. The Cavaliers, boasting a commendable 45-30 record, are bouncing back from a challenging defeat to the Nuggets, a game in which they let their rivals net a whopping 57.5% of their shots. Despite Evan Mobley lighting up the scoreboard with 23 points on an astonishing 90% shooting, the squad's defensive gaps were exposed as they failed to curb the Nuggets' scoring spree. 
Meanwhile, the Jazz, holding a 29-46 record, are on a quest to snap a losing streak, having recently fallen 127-106 to the Kings. Despite Bryce Sensabaugh dropping 22 points, Utah couldn't clinch the victory, underscoring their ongoing battles on the court. Digging into the numbers, the Cavaliers shine on defense, securing the sixth spot in the league by restricting their opponents to just 109.7 points per game and showcasing a robust field goal defense at 46%. On the offensive front, they're spearheaded by Donovan Mitchell, who's dropping an impressive 26.8 points per game, with the team hitting 47.9% from the field. However, a rough patch has seen them lose five of their last seven matches, hinting at some vulnerabilities. Conversely, the Jazz find themselves in a rough patch, with a losing streak of nine games. Their defensive stats are worrisome, ranking 29th in the league for points allowed per game at 120.6 and 22nd in opponent field goal percentage at 48.6%. Despite these challenges, Utah's offense has been more fruitful, averaging 116.2 points per game, with Laurie Markkinen leading the pack before his injury. Playing at home has typically given the Jazz a slight edge, but with key players sidelined, they face a tough battle ahead. The Cavaliers, despite recent hiccups and playing away, have shown resilience and a stronger defensive game this season. Given Utah's defensive flaws and Cleveland's ability to capitalize on them, particularly against Utah's weak three-point defense, 39.7%, the Cavaliers are in a prime position to exploit these weaknesses. Analyzing recent performances and head-to-head matchups, the Cavaliers have demonstrated their defensive prowess and the ability to keep games competitive, even when their offense isn't at its best. Given Utah's defensive struggles and current form, Cleveland is set to dictate the game's tempo and execution. With the Jazz focusing on rebuilding and out-of-playoff contention, their priorities may include roster development and evaluation for the future, unlike the Cavaliers, who are vying for a strong playoff position with each game being critical. Considering the odds, with the Cavaliers favored to win by 11.5 points and an over-under set at 215.5, the game is anticipated to be competitive, with Cleveland likely clinching a victory. However, the tight spread and the Cavaliers' recent form suggest a close match, with the Jazz possibly covering the 11.5-point spread, especially as Cleveland aims for a win amidst a packed schedule. In sum, while the Cavaliers are poised for victory, the Jazz are expected to cover the spread, promising a more contested battle than anticipated. With both teams facing injuries and seeking to rectify their issues, this match provides a glimpse into their ongoing development and areas for improvement as the season draws to a close. My prediction leans towards the Utah Jazz covering the 12-point spread. The next prediction for today is for the game between Los Angeles Clippers and Sacramento Kings. Tonight's showdown at the Golden One Center features the Los Angeles Clippers, who are on a hot streak, facing off against the Sacramento Kings in what promises to be a classic NBA duel loaded with high-flying dunks and masterful game plans. This isn't just another game. It's a pivotal showdown with playoff implications, a contest that could very well dictate the future standings as we barrel toward the end of the regular season. The Clippers, boasting a strong 47-27 record, are an offensive juggernaut, dropping an average of 116.3 points per game and hitting their shots at an impressive 49.3% from the field. Their sharpshooting extends to the three-point line, where they're knocking down 38.7% of their attempts. Stars like Paul George, fresh off a 41-point game, and Kawhi Leonard are the driving force behind this explosive offense. But the Clippers are no one-trick pony. Their defense is just as formidable, with a knack for snatching the ball and clamping down on opposing scorers. The Kings, not to be outdone, are close on their heels with a 43-31 record, and an offensive output that rivals the best, averaging 117.3 points on 48.1% shooting. Their team-centric approach shines through in their assist stats, ranking them sixth in the league. The dynamic duo of De'Aaron Fox and Domantas Sabonis has been wreaking havoc with Fox's quickness and Sabonis' dominance on the boards laying the groundwork for their success. However, their defense, which gives up 116 points per game, shows some cracks that the Clippers might just exploit. Looking at recent performances and head-to-head matchups, especially the Kings' impressive 50% from beyond the arc in their latest game, the scales might tip in favor of the home team. 
the Kings have a proven ability to light it up from deep, a crucial element in today's matchup. Additionally, any slip-ups in the Clippers' perimeter defense could be just the opening Sacramento needs. Injuries are always a game-changer, and keeping an eye on the injury report is essential, as it could significantly impact the outcome. However, judging by the firepower on both sides and their recent forms, we're likely in for a high-scoring affair. The Clippers have the edge in efficiency and clutch performance, indicated by their top-tier offensive rating. Yet, the Kings' home-court advantage and their recent sharpshooting, particularly their 50% three-point success rate against the Jazz, pose a significant challenge. The Kings' ability to stand their ground and deliver at home, coupled with the Clippers. Sometimes Shaqy lead management gives Sacramento a slight advantage. Their history of holding, their own against top teams suggests they could not only keep it close, but possibly secure an upset. Their home court performance and knack for comebacks make them the favorites in this matchup. Considering the Clippers' offensive prowess and defensive lapses, and the Kings' strong home performance and three-point shooting, the game is poised to be not just competitive but also high-scoring, likely surpassing the total point threshold set. In summary, it looks like the Sacramento Kings will not only beat the four-point spread, but also drive the total points beyond the 220-point mark, setting the stage for a thrilling encounter that could be decided in the final moments. My bet is on the Kings to cover, but I'm leaning toward betting on the total points going over. The last prediction for today is for the game between Dallas Mavericks and Golden State Warriors. As the Dallas Mavericks gear up to clash with the Golden State Warriors at Chase Center, anticipation is running high among NBA fans and betting circles. Fresh from a gritty win over the Spurs, the Warriors, flaunting their depth and versatility, are entering this game on a wave of momentum that's both intriguing and vital. Their strategy to open up the game, propelled by Stephen Curry's leadership and sniper-like precision, has proven to be a winning recipe. Their offensive firepower is evident in their season stats, placing them seventh for points per game and boasting a remarkable 37.5% accuracy from three-point land. On the flip side, the Dallas Mavericks, with the indomitable Luka Doncic at the helm, have been dominating the court, blending skill, strategy, and determination to vanquish their foes. The duo of Doncic and Kyrie Irving has been particularly lethal, capable of tearing apart defenses effortlessly. Their recent victories against teams like the Nuggets and Rockets underscore their offensive might, with an average of 118.7 points per game on an impressive 48.4% shooting from the field, complemented by a 37.3% success rate from beyond the arc. A look at past matchups in the host city unveils a history rich with insights. The outcomes at Chase Center have varied, with home court advantage and team synergy often playing pivotal roles. The Mavericks' ability to adapt and persevere, especially on the road, has been commendable, managing to uphold their offensive edge while bolstering their defense, an essential strategy against a team like the Warriors known for their offensive surges. Injuries and player availability are set to significantly influence the outcome. The depth and adaptability of both squads will be crucial. Dallas's dependence on Doncic's scoring and playmaking prowess is unmistakable, and his recent performances against the Warriors indicate his capability to lead the team through critical junctures. For the Warriors, Curry's leadership and offensive spark, along with Thompson and Wiggins' reliable perimeter shooting, will be instrumental. Comparing the team's stats... The Mavericks have a slight edge offensively, whereas defensively, both teams have shown they can tighten up when necessary. The battle for rebounds, led by the Warriors with an average of 46.8 per game, will be key, granting them extra possessions and limiting Dallas's chances. With the Warriors in good form, holding the home court advantage, and the Mavericks displaying a formidable ability to triumph on the road, this matchup is shaping up to be a nail-biter. The Warriors' knack for forcing turnovers and setting a fast pace could unsettle Dallas, but the Mavericks' precision shooting and efficient scoring have the power to keep them competitive. Given the Warriors' occasional home inconsistencies and the Mavericks' road proficiency, coupled with the offensive prowess of both teams, the scales might tip in Dallas's favor, particularly if they manage to dictate the game's tempo and curtail Golden State's three-point barrage. Despite the Warriors being the slight favorites, the Mavericks possess the arsenal and form to not just bridge the gap, but possibly clinch a win in what promises to be a high-scoring showdown. 
anticipate a game decided by offensive brilliance and timely defensive stops, likely driving the total points beyond the 233.5 threshold, given the scoring potential of both teams. My expectation leans towards the Dallas Mavericks beating the spread, yet my wager will be on the total points, surpassing 233.